Welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Sam Gans, along with Gabriella Glossman and Julian Edelman. The NBA Finals will have a different feel this year. Missing is an NBA icon. From 2007 to 2020, one of three NBA superstars, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Stephen Curry, were participants in the championship round, but not this year. Also missing are some of the league's most prominent franchises, the Lakers, Warriors, Celtics, Bulls, and Heat. It is a strange year for the league that loves a brand name, but it is also a perfect time for new stars and new franchises to emerge as the game's best. One area of focus for NBA teams this offseason is how they manage player health. Dealing with the coronavirus was the league's top priority this season, but players were also sidelined at a much higher rate with non-COVID illnesses. This year's All-Stars missed 19% of games, the highest percentage in a season in NBA history, according to the Elias Sports Bureau. Denver Nuggets coach Michael Malone put it best, saying, quote, This has been the hardest year in my 20 years in the NBA. It is, the, it is mental toll, physical toll, and the emotional toll. Shortly after winning his seventh Super Bowl ring in February, Tom Brady underwent surgery on his left knee. But the 43-year-old will still be ready to go when he starts his 22nd season on September 9th, when the Buccaneers face the Cowboys. Tampa will try to become the first team to repeat as Super Bowl champions since the 2003-2004 New England Patriots. Brady says teams will be approaching the Bucs a little bit differently this season, and that the Bucs are the team everyone will be watching. In a year with no candidates, were elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooperstown will still hold an enshrinement ceremony honoring the class of 2020. The outdoor induction ceremony will be held Wednesday, September 8th, with a limited number of tickets available for fans. The class headliner is former Yankee great Derek Jeter. Also being inducted are Larry Walker, Ted Simmons, and former executive director of the MLB Players Association, Rob Miller. The most famous soccer player in the world, Barcelona forward Lionel Messi, has expressed a desire to play in the United States in the final years of his career. With his contract expiring this summer, the 33-year-old Messi has reportedly been courted by the Major League Soccer's Inter-Miami, when former, former superstar David Beckham is co-owner. Messi has been associated with Barcelona for 20 years, but what about he, when he recently built a $7 million condo in Miami. It could be an interesting fall in South Florida. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-host Gabriella Glossman and Julian Edelman, I'm Sam Gans. Thank you for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.